Hello and welcome. My review of the World Eaters Terminator Azrak the Annihilator for Chaos Space Marines for Warhammer 40,000. Now, this miniature um, was free for me, but as part of the Warhammer Plus subscription from Games Workshop, uh, if you subscribe, you can get uh, one of two um, I say miniatures, there's two, two sets of miniatures, I guess. Um, you can either pick Azrak or Middelor, Darkfang, uh, the Chaos Sorcerer Lord. Uh, whichever one you pick, that's your free one. And then you've got the option of then purchasing the, the other miniature or set of miniatures, uh, which of course I've done. So that's great that you, you know, are given the option to pick one or the other. Um, but not so great if you're like me and you like both of the uh, sets of minutes. But either way, uh, I picked this one. The format of this review is as usual. Uh, we're gonna have a closer look at the World Eaters Terminator. Kind of one of my first ever World Eaters miniatures, if we don't include Khan, because uh, I did pick up Khan uh, a couple of years ago and unboxed and reviewed him. I will be buying all of the World Eaters uh, new releases as part of uh, this channel. Um, I've got no interest in World Eaters at all. I just want to pick them up for this channel to unbox them. I'm not going to pick any multiples. I'm not going to start building an army. It's just going to be the World Eaters uh, that they're going to release, which of course includes that excellent Angron model. Um, so looking forward to that. So with a look at the detail on uh, Azrak, there aren't any spare parts. So we'll go straight through to size comparisons with a load of other um, Chaos Space Marines, in particular Terminators. I think people really were interested in having a look at uh, this Terminator compared to the ones that we've had sort of two years ago or three years ago when um, Chaos Space Marines had that refresh. And then we'll go through his rules. I'm just gonna go uh, into the rules from the brand new ninth edition Chaos Space Marines Codex. So uh, let's get into uh, the review and have a look at the, the detail on Azrak. Um, a fair amount of detail, pretty nice. Um, yeah, the, the claw, yeah, the, the chain fist is nice, but yeah, I do, I do kind of question the angle of the fingers and things like that, but you must remember, like, his hand is absolutely fine in there. It's not like a glove. It, you know, his hand is, is moving about, and these fingers, uh, you know, could really be at any angle, I guess. Um, but, yeah, maybe he's missing a finger. I'm not sure, but he's only got three on there. Uh, the chain fist, the actual chain part of it is very nice. You've got um, studded, I'm going to paint them brass, obviously, uh, you know, framing of uh, lots of the parts of the armor, such as the big shoulder pauldrons, which are both um, totally different. Um, you've got his head that um, has got a load of cables and things run into it. You don't get a helmet, unfortunately. Would have been nice to see, uh, you know, a World Eater um, Terminator head. Uh, you've got corn symbols, you've got skulls, uh, you've got grenades, you've got some chains. Um, the feet are quite funky, these big, boot type things. Uh, I like the little indents and the rivets and things on them. That's that's pretty cool if this is a sign of things to come. Uh, the Stormbolt set is so archaic. It looks like kind of two blunderbusses kind of stuck together. I've tried my best to um, drill out some holes, but maybe those holes need to be bigger. And uh, you know, you do, maybe you should uh, drill out the side ones, but I like that. I like that feel of it. It's it's big, chunky Stormbolter. You got spikes on the top, of course, and uh, some more framing uh, around the back of the armor um, for the Terminator armor. So yeah, that is Azrak. On the box, they've painted him um, with this non-metallic metallic, metallic uh, which, yeah, I, I don't know if that works, um, but you know, they've, they've chosen that. Um, to me, it seems a bit, not cartoony, but more pastely um, more than anything. And I do wonder whether, you know, it will match that particular one uh, with all of their, their new releases. I don't think they're going to paint the other releases um, non-metallic metallic. And um, crikey, that'll probably take too long for them. But I'm just going to paint mine standard World Eaters colors um, the same as uh, the new releases. So that's Azrak, uh, the, the detail on him. As I say, there's no spare parts, so we'll get straight into the size comparisons and I'll throw in a Terminator. Here is a Chaos Space Marine Terminator from a couple of years ago. Um, he is bigger, 
Uh, there's no doubt about that. The, the legs are taller, but it could well be the pose. But even in that pose, I feel that the normal Chaos um, Terminator would be shorter. Yeah, I'm not sure about Azrak. His legs look very, very thin compared to the usual Terminators, especially the thighs. It does look odd when the thighs are thinner than the um, lower leg, uh, sort of armor-wise. Um, but the rest of him, like the shoulders and the arms and the head, uh, it, it, again, it's it's odd where the shoulders are. Looking at the anatomy um, of where his with of where his arms are, especially if he's got no kind of traps or anything. Um, but that's where he stands. He's on the same size base, but he is uh, taller. Probably one of my biggest um, terminators, actually. I just have a word bearer Horace Heresy um, terminator here, and he's a fair bit bigger than one of these. Um, so again. Could be the pose, but there's a lot in it um, with this with this one. Uh, but you'd expect it to be. You know, he's warp infused. He's um, corn. If any of the gods are gonna grant you gifts of being bigger, bulkier, more aggressive, and things, it would be corn. Uh, so you'd expect the Terminators for world he is to be uh, the chunkiest because they're always driven. They're always always driven. Uh, and then I'll just compare him to. Uh, Greater Possessed, actually. Greater Possessed are a little bit taller on the same size bases, but these are the Greater Possessed from um, the Vigilus box set. Uh, the brand new um, Possessed, I do have one right here. Um, he's a bit, well, they're kind of a little bit taller, but yeah, so I hope that helps those size comparisons with like, the, the Possessed. Um, Abaddon, right here. He's even given Abaddon a bit of a, a run for his money. Um, you know, almost the same size, and Abaddon is, is pretty big himself. So, and uh, on that scenic base. Um, compared to a standard Chaos Space Marine right here, I mean, look at that size comparison. He is way, way bigger than just one of these normal Chaos Space Marines. Um, and that's how I'd expect Terminators to be that much more chunkier and bigger. Um, than them, but there we go. And finally, the last size comparison I'd like to make is just with my usual three. So the normal Space Marine now is looking, barely reaches up to his chest, doesn't he? Um, and then a Primaris is, I'd say a little bit shorter. So Primaris Terminator, <laughs> I don't know, but yeah. Definitely a big, big Terminator. I don't know whether it's a sign of things to come. I very much doubt it. I think he is just a, a character and one of one of its kind, one of his kind, um, being so big and tall and the pose. But you know, who knows? We'll we'll see if and when they do bring out the um, world he is Terminators. I can't see why they wouldn't. But anyway, that's him next to Sly Marbo. So yeah, probably this guy's like eight foot tall, maybe a bit more. But yeah. Anyway, that's the. Uh, as rack size comparisons. Let's go through some of the rules for just a normal Chaos Space Marine Terminator. I'm sure World Eaters will get their own uh, rules for their Terminators when their codex comes out a little bit later on in the next month or in the next couple of months. Um, but as it stands in the 9th edition codex, a Chaos Terminator squad is an elite choice and it's a power points cost of a 9 with a points cost of 33 points per model. This Terminator uh, is equipped with a chain fist. Um, so that's an extra five points, so pretty much he's 38 points. Uh, their stat line reads, movement at five inches, weapon skill and ballistic skill are both three plus, strength four, toughness four, three wounds, three attacks, leadership nine, and a save of two plus. Of course, remember they've got Terminator armor, so they are getting their five plus and vulnerable. Um, their combi bolter is a range of 24 inches. It's a rapid fire two, strength four, AP zero, damage one. Uh, they can have an accursed weapon, uh, which is a strength plus one, AP minus three, damage one, and each time the bearer fights, it makes one additional attack with this weapon. Um, of course, uh, one model's combi bolter can be replaced with one accursed weapon. Neither of this model's accursed weapons can be replaced with one power fist or chain fist, um, but then it does go down to say one model's accursed weapon can be replaced with one chain fist. So you can only get one chain fist per uh, unit. Uh, they have other abilities such as let the galaxy burn, malicious follies, and warp strike. And they have the keywords chaos, heretic, 
Heretic Astartes, Traitorus Astartes, Chaos Undivided, Infantry Corps, Terminator, Chaos Terminator Squad. I do wonder whether um, World Eaters will get an extra type of rule or, or something uh, in this that they can just take any like melee weapons because they're all about the butchering and I can't wait to see them if they've got some axes and things um, and chain, chain axes for the Terminators. That'd be pretty cool. But what do you guys think of Azrak the Annihilator. Please do put your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. It'd be great to hear from you. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. Death to the False Emperor.